Welcome to this combat mission Battle for Normandy gameplay video. Now you may recognize this map as being from the demo but um, this actually is in the main game as the first mission of the second tutorial campaign. Now it's been slightly reworked um, as you can see we're starting off with a couple of recon vehicles and a scout team. Now I will be doing this turn based but I'm going to edit out the uh, turns part so we'll only be seeing the actual videos apart from what I'm going on about now. This is to try and keep the video fairly uh, as short as possible. Anyway, um, let's just quickly go over the briefing which is an important part if you're ever playing these games if, if you're new to it it gives you just the basic background information um, what your forces are available the objectives so you can see here I need to take the crossroads St Martin farm inflict better than 50% casualties and have less than 25% friendly casualties now um, I will get uh, reinforcements after 5 minutes and 10 minutes and the first set of reinforcements com will consist of two Sherman tanks and an infantry platoon and then after 10 minutes three Sherman tanks and a glider pl infantry platoon well the other one was a glider as well but still anyway let's have a go on to the next page and it just gives you a general plan um, on what to, is required of you and let's just go to the tactical map now this gives you some basic intelligence and you can see that in the um, hedges and bocage to our right there are German defenders the crossroads is defended and so is St Martin Farm which we all know basically from the demo if you played that anyway okay so um, I should just do this turn quickly before we start proper so to speak. So I'm going to move my guys quickly up to here and when I reach this point I'm going to have them slowly move forward here. Um, I don't know whether it just me might be me but I seem to th think that it's when they're doing slow which is moving forward on their bellies they are um, sneaking as far as I can make out. Now I'm doing a target arc because I don't want them to shoot at the enemy forces. Okay, so they're done. Let's just get these quickly on the go. Right, and the final one. Now the thing is, um, because of the way I'm going to play this mission and that doesn't mean that I'm giving you the all singing all dancing perfect way of doing this I'm not because I'm not ta a tactical genius or anything um, I'm just going to show you the way I play this mission I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's right uh, other people do it a uh, different way to me and that's that's fine um, I mean basically what I'm going to do is suppress the Germans down at the crossroads and take St Martin Farm and then move forward down the centre and suppress the forces down the Pocage and Hedges on the right hand side by moving infantry up. So here we go, moving forward they'll go through. So as I said I'll be editing out the turns as I did just now although that will still appear in the video as you've just seen. Follow me. 
Now, because of the way I'm going to do this uh, mission, I need to wait for my reinforcements. Obviously, I can't really do much of an assault with two light armoured cars and a scout team. But by the time I get my reinforcements, the scout team should have been able to spot um, quite nicely quite a bit down here. I am using the warrior difficulty level, which means I will get restricted information on the enemy units, which is fine. I'm quite happy about that. But if you want more at the beginning, which I do recommend if you've never played this before, then uh, do use basic training level, which will show you all of the components. Okay, so the scout team is already doing a nice bit of identifying these German troops down here. And as you've played, no doubt, the demo before, we know that there's um, an AT gun there and another one over here. We also know from the intel that there are um, enemy forces within St. Martin Farm. OK, just to save a little bit of time, let's go forward a bit. As I said, I'm waiting for the reinforcements. Obviously it doesn't seem to be that much going on whilst we're waiting. So the thing about St. Martin Farm is that we've got a footbridge here and a main bridge here, but I'm going to do basically a infantry assault with the first platoon and they are likely to cross over the footbridge unless I end up accidentally destroying it. Right. Okay, still waiting for the reinforcements to arrive, as you can see. Nothing yet. So let's just fast forward. Okay, so my reinforcements have arrived. And uh, what I'm first of all moving up is the company HQ. You can see, again, I've given him a target arc so he won't start firing and he's going to move into the overwatch position with the scout team and also my first mortar team which I'm going to set up down here with the mortar ammo team and the mortar teams are basically going to do the majority of the suppression down here with support from the tanks and light armoured cars you can see I've started moving the, light, the uh, tanks forward. The first one over here is going to move over towards St. Martin Farm and will form uh, an initial barrage before the infantry goes in. The second tank will start lining up against the hedgerow here. Okay, so the first platoon is now on its way. Commanded by um, Lieutenant Callahan, and basically they will be eventually assaulting St. Martin Farm. And I'm going to first of all position them down here. Oh, look, we spotted some uh, movement down to there, down there. Okay, so on the next move I'm going to set up the mortar team to start shooting. Um, I'm doing this before the others, 
uh, the reinforcements turn turn up because it does take a few minutes before they will start firing. Okay. Right, so there's a five minute gap before the mortar team will start uh, firing. Might be a little bit less, but uh, that's what we're looking at. And in that time, because we're at uh, 37, 45, we'll have our second um, lot of reinforcements coming along in about three minutes. And that will include our second mortar team, which we will set up as well. So everyone's starting to move into, get into position. Quite good, as you see the spotters are seeing quite a bit down here. Uh, I do like to replay this uh, mission sometimes, especially if I've had a little bit of a gap or if I want to try out something or learn about the way a particular unit works. Um, you don't have all different types of units involved in this mission, but you know, you've got infantry, you've got mortar teams, you've got uh, armoured vehicles. Sorry. So let's just forward on from here. Okay, very much. This is a waiting turn for the um, reinforcements to turn up. So we'll just fast forward through this turn. Okay, as you can see, the second lot of reinforcements have turned up with 2nd Platoon under Lieutenant Pryor. So I'm just moving up the 2nd right. Platoon into position well. along this hedgerow because I don't need them for the moment. And also I'm pushing the mortar team and the ammo bearer for the mortar team up ready. Next turn I'll start moving the tanks. Let's just fast forward. Okay, so as you can see the uh, second mortar team just get into position and they'll start deploying the uh, weapon. Tanks are starting to move through and up. Now you may notice that I won't um, react to some audio cues from the game and that's because I have my speakers turned off so I can't actually hear the game. This is to uh, try to get rid of as much noise that might be coming through the microphone as possible. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the mortars, it looks like I'm putting in a few spotting rounds before they start doing the uh, main suppression. And as soon as that comes off, we'll move the tanks up to the um, hedgerows.
tank coming up, but I'm not too worried about that. Roger, fire perfect. Okay, so as long as the mortars start to uh, looping off, and here we go. So the next turn, I shall move the um, armoured vehicles up to the hedgerow. And uh, that's all in preparation for our assault on St. Martin Farm. So as you can see, we're starting to... vicinity down here. I've done a, a linear uh, line. So it's this machine gun team here and there's another machine gun team there which are the main problems for infantry. Right, so I've issued the order for the um, vehicles to move forward, but I've given them a slight time delay before I'm moving up. See, there they go, into, start to move into position. Water fire still going down. Now, I've got some machine gun fire coming over here. Now, as the mortar teams run out of ammunition, they will start taking ammunition from their ammo bearers. So you can see his numbers going down here. given some of my tanks some specific targets to go after, so I know there's no T gun over there, so firing there as you can see, and over here. Mortars are still coming in nicely. Now in preparation for St. Martin Farm, my tank here shooting at uh, this building, this barn. As you can see there's already score marks. On the farm. This is all going quite nicely. Fourteen rounds left. Okay, so I've ordered this tank and these squads to pop smoke, as you can see it's going down now. This is going to give me additional cover from these Jones that I'm um, suppressing. So we're getting close to the actual assault. Okay, so I've started to order first platoon to start their move for St. Martin Farm. As you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of smoke coming down. Gives us some additional cover. Moving over onto the footbridge.
see the barn's fairly battered from the uh, shelling that the showman gave it. Okay, the next squad should be coming over as well. Okay, so as the next squad is coming over, they're starting an assault onto the barn. And as you can see, they're already starting to shoot at the main farmhouse. Okay, so I'm starting the assault on the main farmhouse. There they go, over the wall. I'm also starting to move the um, tanks into their new assault positions, ready to go down towards the crossroads. Right, fire for a so they're getting into the farmhouse okay. Looks like all the uh, forces are actually moved out of the building now. Now the uh, mortar team and the ammo bearers of the mortar team of 1st platoon Sorry, I just ran out of time on that. Yes, the mortar team and the ammo bearers of 1st platoon are moving across because they've run out of ammunition. And I'm using them basically to make up a command squad with the platoon HQ. You can see this mortar team are still firing away. He's got hit. Where from? Still didn't see that. You should lose a tank that early. At all. Until he's immobilized, which isn't too bad. He can still shoot. And he's in quite a nice position. Okay, so the tanks are starting to move up. And the infantry are starting to move up into position. We've still got that uh this seems to be still active, this ATG. That's what I need to try and take out.
going as well as it usually does for me. Let's see how the ammunition on these guys is going. Fifteen rounds to go off. Let this guy settle down a little bit. I've targeted the AT gun over there as well, so Now, second platoon, I'm going to move up along the hedgerow here. about here before I set first platoon down here. Did I say first platoon? Second platoon is going down here if I correct myself if I just said that correctly. I use the light armoured cars to support them against uh, these troops down at the uh, hedges in the cars. Okay, so I've started 2nd platoon, hedge hopping, and I'm also going to start moving the light armed cars up. Ready? these guys are good. There's a Shrek team. Guys me a little bit. That's good. And the uh, second platoon has spotted them. Oh, looks like I took them out. Great stuff. Starting to move the tanks slowly forward now. And uh, next turn, it might be the turn after actually I'm going to get into position, I'll then start the advance of first platoon, which can be a little dodgy down there. Meanwhile, second platoon, I'll continue moving up. I'll move them to the next ledge 
leg of the uh, hedgerow on the next turn. As you can see, the light armoured car moving into this field. A bit dodgy now in case they get to forward nicely. So the next turn I'll start the uh, move up. Get all my tanks onto this road pointing in this direction to try and give my uh, the first platoon some cover fire. Because these are still dangerous these guys don't they? So the second platoon hedgerows as I said I would. this scenario several times now, as I said, to teach myself various things. And I have to say, this is my worst experience. Now, when I just said worst experience, I mean the worst I have played. Having had one tank immobilised, it was bad enough, but uh, these guys are struggling. back into the fight and shooting. Um, I hope he's going to... I forgot, because I've got these guys moving over here. just hope he's going to stop shooting when my guys come over, otherwise it's going to be carnage. Faces now. Usually I've got about eight minutes to go at this point. There's some German troops over there on the left that have uh, surrendered. Just 
Да. Okay, here we go. In the final throws of this now. situation now and take the crossroads. Get a second platoon to do that. Okay. <coughs> So, uh, more or less all over now. <clears throat> and there we go. US Army total victory. Four men killed. Not as bad as I thought it was. Five men wounded. They've got 20 men okay. 74 men killed and 22 men wounded. Five men missing. Those are probably the guys that have surrendered. Surrendered. Okay, let's see what uh, they've got left, which is a rifle B team, platoon HQ, squad with just a couple of men in there, Another squad there and a squad there, <coughs> and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.